poetry named me the arsonist. All right now. Word. <laughs> so tonight, I would like a little participation. I would like for you to respect the mic, give me your undivided attention, and when I say light it up, you say, burn it down. Burn it down. <laughs> so I have a couple of pieces. There are no titles to it. I want you to listen and relate. If you want to hear me do what I do, let me hear you say, light it up. Burn it down. Burn it down. Burn it down. Once upon a time, once upon a time, everything was fine. There was no one bright enough to block my shine. My shine so bright, like iridescent sunlight in the middle of the night, and everything in my life was going just right. I remember, I remember sunny days with warm rays when I could have coined the phrase, your money on me is your best bet. Best believe anything I wanted, I could get without fret and no debt. It was me, meekly, making the Teleman Weekly Cashing three and four thousand dollar checks, but I was I was humble with my money. All right now, I never treated people funny. I never felt the need to boast, brag, or broadcast with shoes and bags. I never showed my, mm. cause you know my mother Mary, you know she taught me better. Yeah. Oh. When I had the ability to give an opportunity, hear me when I speak. I was killing it, call me beast, and like bread made with yeast, we rose together. Somebody didn't catch that, so I'm gonna write it back slowly. Right, right, right. <laughs> when I had the ability to give an opportunity, I was killing it. Yeah. Call me beast. beast. Did you hear me when I speak? Yeah. Like bread made with yeast, we rose together. Yeah. Oh, I do. Come on, baby, let's go. <laughs> I wore compassion on my sleeve, helping anyone who said they had a need. The once needy became greedy, and now my heart grieves for whenever I'm in need, there are none to fill my need. And sometimes the weight is so heavy, like a simple breath threatens to implode my chest. And looking at a plate too full, I dare not ingest dragonflies on pogo sticks. Stomach playing tricks, and I think it's about to be some mess. <laughs> Temporary pity party <laughs> made me briefly blind in reality. Reality is that all things have a season and every season a reason. And my season sometimes is raining, and when it's raining, it's raining torrential. A small problem seems monumental, but every day that I open my eyes is a positive potential. Amen. All right. Temporary pity party made me deeply regret. I temporarily forget that I put too much emphasis on the next move and what comes next that I did not give my father his due respect. And you know my Bible taught me better. Okay. From Luke 17, 6, faith no bigger than a mustard seed, to Philippians 4, 19, where my God shall supply all my needs. So as I smile, remembering sunny days with warm rays, I shine through the rain, I grit my teeth and bear the pain. Still smiling, as I say to you, fourth down, fourth quarter, four seconds left in the game. God Almighty always comes through. Now let me hear you say, light it up. Light it up. Burn it down. Burn it down. Next piece. Yes. That's all right. I came into this world with the odds stacked against me. Less than five pounds or two month premium. Born in a house without running water and no electricity. My very first meal was light bread and coffee. My father didn't want the responsibility, but I had a teenage mother who did her best to take care of me. My grandmother Ruth loved me wholeheartedly, and I had uncles and aunts who thought the sun rose and set with me. See, I was the firstborn, so that made me a novelty. <laughs> <laughs> At four years old, a brain virus came to claim me, but God said, no, death can't have me. Mom moved from city to city. Being an only child, I was so lonely. But I found solace in music, poetry, and song. I was still always alone and 
wanted to belong, I had many fakes befriend me. Wednesday's child had an unknown enemy, but God sent his heavenly angels to defend me. Now, I have my share of problems and woes, but I have victory over all my foes. Time and time again, words became my only friend, and I learned the power of a good pen. See, I came into the world, in the world with the world stacked against me. Less than five pounds, a two-month premium. Born in a house without running water and no electricity. Death and the devil tried many ways to get me. But God said, no, mm -mm, still can't have me. And thanks to the Lord, yesterday I turned 53. So now on the count of three, everybody say happy birthday to me. One, two, three. Happy birthday! I am Angela the arsonist. Let me hear you say, light it up. Light it up. Burn it down. Burn it down. That's what I'm talking about. Y'all, and it's nothing like seeing the support of your family and your friends and people that you know. And I just love all y'all. And happy birthday to all the Scorpios in the house. Yeah.